Okay, folks, we're back. This time we're working with Murphy. He is here for three weeks at least. This is on his last few days of leash work. And he's doing pretty good. Basically, we want to um, get him a little bit more calmed down as it pertains to getting out in the public. So he can't be encouraged to jump. That's very, very important. No, right, especially right now while he's in training, there's no, come up here, boy, come up here, this and that. Because if you do that, you're basically training him to jump and to jump all the time. And then what do you think he's going to do when he sees you? Come up and jump, and he's not going to walk properly with you in the public. Okay? So no encouraging to jump. Right now, I just put him in a sit and stay, and we're going to go through some of the stuff that we've been doing in our walks that pertains to our five-week obedience in conjunction with leash work. We can go ahead and get started. Murph, come. Come on, boy. Around. Come on. Around. Come on. Come on. Around. Come on. Come, on. come around, Murph. Come around. Let's go. Come on. You're going to see all of this in the five-week obedience, and now we're just doing it with a leash. One finger. And you can see he wanted to jump a couple of those times, but he didn't because I don't encourage him to jump. And I talked to him. Now we're prepping her for hands free. This is actually prepping him for... Officers, come on, Murphy. And folks, trust me, he simply adores the camera person. So for him to be listening to me shows what kind of concentration he's putting into to this workout. See, he wants to mark everything. Come on. Come on. Nope, nope. We don't want to mark it. Because when we get to the off leash, nope, nope. We don't want him stopping the mark. Say that again in case the audience didn't catch that. We don't want him marking stop. See how when I stop, I say stop, he should stop and sit. We don't want him marking while we're out on walks. Because when we get to off leash and we start walking through brush, I don't want him to stop lifting his leg. He should be with me, alright? Let's go. test and you see he was ready to take off now we have a dog barking so we're going to test the dog we don't care about the dog barking be paying attention to me and not the dog he learned that in the first five weeks of obedience 
So he wants to take off, but he's listening, all right? That's what we want. There you go, mate. And then you smell burgers, because that's not... about this dog he knows when he has an audience then he wants to show out so if you notice it I stifled it right away all right he goes to uh, doggy daycare and I'm sure he's getting treated like a king and he shows out well it's not necessarily useful in his training because then he gets that crowd around he wants to start to jump and hop and we want to we want to stop that all right we don't want to encourage we do not want to encourage that all right because then we'll get overly excited get up take off and leave and now how are you going to control your dog see when he wanted to do that i just gave him his verbal commands stop sit and stay and then took control of the leash don't chase your dog because he'll run because he'll think it's a game all right let's go
being a bad dog with you. I know what you're trying to do. Let's go. these dogs for off leash even though he's passing barely passing leash work he's not getting fully prepped the way I would like him to see for off leash his concentration levels look he's all over the place and guys a lot of this has to do with things like dog parks they, doggy daycare those places, they encourage dogs to be free and to roam back and forth. And it's the last thing you want to do if you want to try and prep your dog for off leash, all right? So that's for the general public to know. Come around, Murph. Because what happens is they get used to having that freedom. Whereas you want the dog to get used to staying close to you, not to be out running free and wild, all right? Come on. This is my man Murph. Murph, sorry, Murphy. He's got three more days of leash work. And folks, he'll go home. His owners will practice with him on all the things that he knows about leash work. And um, he'll be back for off leash. Stay tuned for more videos of Murph when he gets back here for off leash work. Thanks for watching. Over and out.